Hey guys, my name is Alina Kennedy. I'm a physiotherapist and owner of The Runner's Physio. In this video, I'm going to talk about diastasis recti or ab separation, something that is really common in postpartum women. So after you have a baby, it is really common to notice not only that you've got core weakness following birth, but also a bit of a gap or a separation through your abdominals. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what diastasis recti is, how you can check for it at home to actually see if that is something that you have, um, and also talk about what you can do to fix it in that recovery postpartum period. So firstly, what is diastasis recti? It is basically the fancy way of saying abdominal separation. And we're talking about one particular muscle, which is your rectus abdominis. And that's where the name comes from. Now this rectus abdominis muscle is otherwise known as your six pack group of muscles. So it's this muscle that runs all the way down the front of your abdominals from just under your ribs all the way down to your pelvic bone. So it's of course only one of many of your core muscles um, and it sits right on the surface at the front of your abdominals. Of course, when you're pregnant, your, uh, your stomach expands out and this muscle stretches out because it is sitting right at the front of your abs, it is going to stretch out as your belly stretches out. Now, this particular muscle, there's two strips of it. There's the left side and the right side. And in the middle, it is connected by a connective tissue. So this isn't muscle that connects it, but it is almost like a ligament type of connective tissue. So it holds the two bands of muscle together. As your belly expands out during pregnancy, that connective tissue stretches out. So those two bands of muscles separate further out. So once you actually then have your baby and your uterus goes back down, so your belly goes back down, you can still have some of that ab separation because that connective tissue that was stretched during pregnancy now comes back, but it's a little bit loose, it's a little bit lax. So it doesn't hold those two bands of muscles as tightly as it did before pregnancy. So this can then lead to a bit of a feeling of separation or a gap through the center of your abdominals. And it can also lead to some core weakness. But one thing to note is that this muscle in and of itself does not indicate that you have a weak core. Like I said, it is only one group or one muscle of many muscles through your core. So just because if you have rectus abdominis or this ab separation, that in and of itself does not mean that you have a weak core. And some people will maintain some of that diastasis recti, so that gap will remain for many months or years, but they can still have a really strong core if they've got the support of all of those other muscles that make up your core. So particularly some of those deeper muscles through um, around your torso and around your pelvis. So don't worry too much if you do find that you have diastasis recti um, because you can still strengthen all of those other muscles around it. It does not mean that you're forever gonna have a weak core. One thing to also note is that um, in a lot of women, the diastasis recti fixes itself over uh, weeks or months after giving birth. So the amount of separation that you have two weeks postpartum um, is going to change once you get to six weeks and once you get to six months and once you get to 12 months. So even though some people do maintain a bit of separation for a lot of, uh, for a lot of women, this does naturally go away and tighten up with time postpartum. The next thing I wanna show you is how to actually test for it yourself. So you can go to a pelvic floor physiotherapist and they will be able to uh, assess it for you. And that potentially is gonna be a little bit more accurate than doing it at home. But to get an idea of it, you can actually do it pretty well at home yourself. So let me show you how to do that. All you need to do is have a lie down on the ground don't do this on a mattress or a couch. Uh, you wanna do it on the ground where it's a pretty firm surface. You're going to lie with your back flat and your knees bent. 
Once you're in this position, you're going to get your right hand and find your belly button and then move two centimeters or an inch above your belly button. With your two fingers, so your index finger and your middle finger, you're just going to place them gently on to that middle line, two centimeters above your belly button. And you're just going to gently have a feel to see whether there is a gap there. Can you stick your fingers through that space? Then you're going to just gently lift your head and shoulders off the ground and assess that area again. Do you have a gap there? Can you fit your fingers through that space? What you're assessing for here is how wide that gap is. So does it fit those two fingers in there? Is it smaller than that and only has room for one finger? Or can you fit more than two fingers in and it becomes more of a three finger gap? So you're then also going to do the exact same test, two centimeters or an inch below your belly button. So find that area, press down, have a feel of it. Is there a separation when you're relaxed? And then what happens when you lift your head and shoulders up, tensing those muscles? Does that gap increase? Can you fit your fingers through there? And is it one finger, two finger or three fingers wide? So diastasis recti by definition is a two centimeter wide gap or around two fingers. So if your gap is smaller than that, so it only fits one finger, you don't technically have diastasis recti. And then if it is two fingers or more, then we would classify that as diastasis recti. And again, this isn't something to be worried about if you do find that you do have diastasis recti. Firstly, depending on how far postpartum you are, it might naturally heal and tighten up on its own within a few weeks or months. If you are more than say six months postpartum, then definitely doing some core strengthening exercises has been shown to speed up that process and also help to rectify and tighten those muscles. But like I said, even if you are left with a bit of a separation or a gap in those muscles, that doesn't mean that you have a weak core or that you can't do certain activities or sports that you would normally do um, otherwise. However, if you haven't got uh, those muscles supporting you, so you don't have strength in those other core muscles and you also have that diastasis recti, that is a good indicator that it is worth doing a really specific postpartum core strengthening program to make sure that you are supporting your pelvic floor, supporting your back and supporting the rest of your body by strengthening those core muscles as much as you can. So I hope this video has been helpful in showing you what diastasis recti is and how to assess it at home. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and thank you for watching.